Hello and welcome back to Blue Polo Channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to review and fit to my new computer a Sodak gaming uh, graphics card. It's an affordable uh, graphics card. It's a 1660 uh, Super. The prices of uh, of graphics card went through the roof there last year and before because of the scarcity of chips but now they have stabilized and this is a very very affordable one I bought it on Amazon I'll put a link down below and uh, if you like this video or any of other videos before I do this please subscribe it's got six uh, gigabytes of DDR6 RAM in this one and it's called Firestorm now you, when you, you before you in before we put this in i'm going to put it into my brand new uh, before we install this uh, download the drivers from uh, from geforce from geforce itself just put in geforce.com there's two options there's game ready and there's studio because i am using the computer for studio i selected studio most of you will want to uh, select uh, game ready and there's two different versions of the driver. Before I fit, I'm just going to let you have a small look at it and then we will bring in the computer here and fit it. So it's very compact for a double fan one. And I don't know if you can see, but the fans are slightly uh, tilted. And it's very compact. It takes up just uh, two slots. And it's PCI Express 3, which will fit in, it will fit in in nearly all computers that are a few years old uh, as well as the modern as the new modern ones which have uh, a slot for pine 5 you can put this in the slot for pine 5 if you so wish you must have your power uh, coming from your power supply the power supply one will fit in here we will show you in a moment We'll put the power supply in here, the 8 pin, right? They come in a 6 with a 2 together. I will show you what way you put them together. On the back, we have, all we have is one HDMI 2.0. And we have uh, got, we have three of these display port and they are faster than HDMI 2. Most people know that already. You can run the four of them together, so it is quad. So we're going to bring in the computer now and I am going to show you how to fit this. It's very simple how to fit them. So here I have the side of my computer. I have put in, in uh, the, the PC LE cable uh, from the power supply at the back. Uh, I have left it in this one here. Now we are faced with, the, the, this is a generation 5 here and this generation 3 here. Because this is a double slotted one, if we put this one in this way, it's not going to work. If we put it in this way, it won't go down here because all our slots are down here. We'll put it in the fifth generation one. So we pull back the slot there. We know already, you put it, you address it to where it's going and then you know which slots you have to take out. So I am going to take out slot number two and slot number three. So we just take them out. Keep the screws now. And the second one out. So then we will we will just get our uh, we make sure you pull back this and we line it up like this, okay? And then you just give it a gentle push down and it's in. Your motherboard is fitted. And then we use our screws, the ones we took out. We, will, we can put two in it like there was before. It just makes it that little bit more steadier. Save them pieces for later if you like. So what are we going to do then? We are going to take the sticker off the front of it. Then we will get our power supply. Now, when they come in a group like this, you will be wondering which one goes on which side. There is a little notch on the smaller one, and that notch sits over it on this side. And the clip, the side of the clip goes on the upper side of the board. I have not fitted it already, but I'm 90% sure. I didn't, ah, yeah, I can hear the click now. 
So that's in now. So what we do is we, we, we will pull back some of this cable to the other side. We will tie this uh, second, secondary one around here so that it's not, so that it's tidy. And we will try and make this one tidy. And then we will, we will, uh, we will see how, it, how, it, how it's performing now. So we're doing the graphics test here, the 2D graphics test, and see what mark we will get for that. Uh, I have this set up for studio, not for gaming, so it's not going to be, uh, it, uh, the graphics card is not going to perform as well on the 3D, but on the 2D it should be fine. And our mark is at 82 percentile, uh, 965. So I'm doing the graphics, uh, the 3D DirectX 12, and as you see up in there, they're going to penalize me for 60% because of my screen is only full HD, it's not 2K like they want you to have. But never, nonetheless, I'm not playing games with it and I haven't got it set up for games, but we are in the 80% and we have a mark of 65. So, thank you very, very much for watching. And if you like this video or any of our other videos here on Bupolo, uh, please subscribe.